Hello, Gary. Hi. This is your development station. I'd like you to examine Ryan and examine his speech and language development, please. Yeah, no problem. So, do you want to play a game? Yes. Oh, I've got a very good game for you. Can you point to where your mummy is? <gasps> yeah, that's her. Well done. Okay, now. Which one of these is a spoon? Oh, you're very good at this game already. And which one is a car? <sighs> you're very good. And which one of these do you use to eat? What? You do use a duck to eat. To eat. What do you use to eat? What do you use to eat with? Which one of these do you eat with? You eat noodles with that? Very good. Are they nice noodles? Okay. That's fine. Okay, let's get some more toys out. Because I can use these then. Okay. Hi. Okay. So, Ryan. Ryan. We get, we get you some cookies afterwards. Which one of these is, which one of these is not a car? Well done. And which one of these is not a spoon? Oh, you're very good. Now, I'm going to ask you a um, question. Which one of these is bigger? Oh, which one did you point to? No cheating. Which one is bigger? Are you sure? Yes, well done. You're very good. Now, can you take this block and put it on top of that block? Well done. And now, can you take the car and give it to me? <gasps> well done. You're very good at this. Now, before you give your mummy a hug, I want you to pick up the block and hand it to me. And now what do you have to do? OK. So I want you to pick up the block, give it to me, and then go hug your mummy. And what else do you have to do? Come on, hold me. Okay. Now, now we're going to read a book. <gasps> Are you good at reading books? Got some funny pictures in here. Do you want to sit down beside me and we can go through it? You don't. Do you want to stand there and we can go through it? So they can give you a sticker. Do you want to tell me what that doggy is doing? What's he doing? What the dog is doing? You don't want to have a I'll get you a nice big sticker then when we're finished. What's that doggy doing? Go on, you know. You're about to say it. He's running, well done. And what color is that boy's jumper? It's red. Oh, and what color is that man's jumper? Yellow. <gasps> and which one of these is, let me see, it's too many people on that page. So which one of these is not a dog? The man that, <laughs> you're right, or the lady, sorry. And how did you get here today?
from your house. And then what happened? Auntie was in my house. And your auntie was at your house. And what else happened? <coughs> Nothing. Did you go on the bus? No. Yes. And then what happened? No. And who's that there? That's him, yeah. Okay, I think you've done really well. I want a dinosaur sticker. You want a dinosaur sticker? Yes, you can definitely have a dinosaur sticker. Um, I think I'd like to present my findings, please. Okay. Would you like to present your findings? Yes. So today I examined Ryan, um, and I examined his speech and language developmental system. Um, uh, before starting, I would have liked to plot his height, weight, and head circumference on the appropriate growth chart with his chronolog chronological age. Um, so with regards to Ryan's speech, uh, um, speech and language, he was easily able to demonstrate five-word sentences. Um, he was able to understand nouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, negatives, positives, knew two of his primary colours, um, and he was also able to uh, follow two-step commands, but he was not able to follow complex three-step commands. Um, he, had, he, was, he understood everything I said. He was able to, he was able to understand direction. Um, he was a bit shy at first, but I think, um, given the right conditions, I think we, I would be able to push him further with regards to the complex commands. Um, overall, taking this picture um, into light with what I found today, um, I would put him at around four to four and a half years of age. Um, I would like to push him further with his stories to see if he would be able to tell me a longer story or more imaginative stories. And I would also try to get him to demonstrate the under, demonstrate complex commands, which I think he 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 might nearly be able to uh, to do if the conditions are correct. And are there any questions you'd like to ask his mother? Yes. Um, first, I'd like to ask about the newborn period, whether he was born on time or whether he was premature. I'd, a I'd ask, was there any neonatal complications or um, anything that happened in the hospital? I'd also like to find out what his auditory um, examinations um, were like. Um, and I'd also like to find out how he's getting on in um, creche and primary school to see if there's any issues with hearing or understanding in the school environment. Okay. And if I told you his age is three and a half years... What would you say to his mum? I would say that he would appear to be advanced for his age. I would have no concerns whatsoever about his um, speech and language development. Um, and I would tell her to keep doing whatever she's doing. Thank you. Thanks.